So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to talk about in this video. Just FYI, there are spoilers for Transformers Rise of the Beast at the end of this video, but do not worry, I will alert you just before I get into them. Dude, we gotta talk about this. So today, we got news about Marvel. We got news about the Ahsoka series, but first... It is actually coincidentally today we also have some new news about Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken and I wanted to do this part first the Teenage Kraken segment of this video first and thank you you guys for the trailer breakdown having 1,500 views Dang. And the new news that we specifically have for Teenage Kraken is about Chelsea, or whatever her name is. <laughs> okay, so um, the new news that we got is from a recent Instagram TV spot. Thank you very much for this news, and thank you to Universal Pictures and more for these video clips and images. But anyway, the new news is that she does not think of herself as evil. In fact, in the Instagram trailer that I unfortunately do not have, she says that she's not evil, she's just misunderstood. Maybe pertaining to the belief that the Kraken have that the mermaids are evil. Now, as we all know, for sure, the mermaids in the Kraken movie are narcissists, they are stuck up in themselves, and love attention so i don't know whether or not she is telling the truth whether or not she's misunderstood maybe that doesn't pertain to the kraken maybe that pertains to herself maybe in her family or her family doesn't see her as important or who knows uh maybe if the kraken misunderstand the mermaids maybe that could potentially lead to how uh, Chelsea could be dealt with and how the villain of this movie can be dealt with as well. As we all very well know, this is what looks to be a good, harmless, kid-friendly film and a film for the entire family. So, is Chelsea going to die? I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt that anyone is going to die in this movie. In fact, maybe the Kraken and the mermaids can work things out and be friends instead of enemies. And maybe Chelsea being misunderstood is something that can help Ruby unite the Kraken and mermaid, settling their who knows how many years long rivalry they've had together. And we actually have some new Ahsoka news as well, specifically about characters who have indeed survived Order 66. And I'm talking specifically about the main antagonist of the Ahsoka series. Specifically, Balin and Shin Hadi. These two characters are actually survivors of Order 66. And another character from the Star Wars Rebels series could possibly still be alive. Any of you guys remember that mysterious Inquisitor that never took his mask off, that fell from the sky, and was never seen again? It is possible that he is still alive. I believe it was featured on Empire Magazine that it would have a mysterious Inquisitor in the Ahsoka series, and the Inquisitor that I've seen from the images has a mask vaguely similar to this guy. And apparently, Balin is going to be a mercenary for hire in this movie. He was a survivor from Order 66, sorry. Uh, he was a Jedi, but as you can see, he has an orange lightsaber. So, maybe we'll finally find out for sure what the orange lightsaber means in the Star Wars timeline. But... All I know is that maybe there is going to be a bit of a history between Balin and Ahsoka, and most likely the person who hired Balin was General Thrawn to catch and uh, bring Ahsoka to General Thrawn for him to deal with her personally. 
And I just had to do the next part of this video. I also want to do the few actors from Marvel who have confirmed that they will be playing their characters for the rest of their lives. Yes, there are a few Marvel actors out there who are never going to give up the character and have confirmed that so long as Marvel will have them, they will play the characters into eternity. And the first person that we have is Benedict Cumberbatch, who is the actor for Doctor Strange. Yes, after the recent movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Benedict Cumberbatch himself has said that he wants Doctor Strange to go down darker feels, similar to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and he said that so long if Marvel has him, he will continue to play Doctor Strange for the rest of his life. So, those of which who are fans of Doctor Strange, we never have to worry about Benedict Cumberbatch leaving Marvel. The next person is Chris Pratt, who plays the role of Star-Lord. I haven't seen the movie yet, I'm waiting for it to drop on Disney+, Plus, but I've heard that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was a big success, and Chris Pratt, after that movie, has come out and said that so long as Marvel will have him, he will play Star-Lord forever. So, I just love that. I love that Chris Pratt is staying with Marvel, and it is just amazing to just see how Chris Pratt is doing, because I am a huge fan of the actor, and... Yeah, there you go. Number three is Mark Ruffalo, who plays the role of the Hulk. Now, Mark Ruffalo has come up to Marvel and stated a ton of ideas that he would love to do with the character of the Hulk. And it is just so amazing that the actor himself has plans for the character in the future. So, it is safe to guarantee that one... At least one of the original six Avengers still has a bright future ahead. And it is absolutely no surprise that another character who is definitely being played by the actor for Eternity is Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston has definitely come out and said that he is Loki, and everyone... I am definitely sure agrees with that. We have our Loki. We want our Loki to stay in the MCU. And so long as Marvel will have him, Tom Hiddleston will definitely make sure of that. And I'm sure everyone will enjoy this. The last person who has come out and stated that they will play their character for eternity, recently, mind you, is Tom Holland, a.k.a. Spider-Man. Now... After seeing Across the Spider-Verse, he definitely came out and said that he is Spider-Man and he does not want the mantle to be passed on to anyone else. Other times, we have heard him say that if in 30 years, Marvel does not pass on the Spider-Man mantle to someone else, they're doing something wrong. But it really seems as though that was something that he stated falsely and has really thought about it and really thinks about the fans and just wants to bring the fans into a great movie, have them uh, support him. And what I'm just trying to say is I really think that he just wants to give the fans a good time and really enjoy the character that our Spider-Man Tom Holland is. And I can safely guarantee you, yeah, it is amazing to see that Tom Holland will definitely be doing Spider-Man forever, and I will love to see him in the future. And now, here is your official spoiler warning. We are now going to talk about Transformers Rise of the Beasts, and there will definitely be spoilers. So, if you have not seen Transformers Rise of the Beasts and want to avoid all spoilers, 
please click away now and then you can always just come back after you've seen the movie and watch the rest of this video the time mark will be posted down below if i uh i probably will do that i, I will post the time mark down below when i stop talking about transformers news however if you have seen transformers rise of the beasts or don't give a stink on spoilers then please enjoy the rest of the video now in the end of Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Noah got a job. And on the back of his IQ card, which was a company that actually wanted to help the Transformers and help them fight this war. On the back of his ID card was the name G.I. Joe. So, there were rumors flying about that G.I. Joe could possibly appear in the next Transformers movie and that there could be a crossover between the two? Well, those rumors have been addressed. They are true. <laughs> it really seems as though that they're setting up G.I. Joe, hopefully to be played by the legendary Dwayne Johnson in the next Transformers movie. So, they have a path, they have a future, and they know how it's going to go, and where it's going to go. It is just amazing how they do these specific sort of things, and I am definitely going to love to see where the future of Transformers ends up. And that's pretty much the video, so make sure to subscribe to the Dragon Clan family so not miss out on my future videos and giveaways. And share with your friends if you like to spread all this crazy news, and be sure to like this video if you are a fan of everything. Teenage Kraken, Transformers, Star Wars, and Marvel, and are going to enjoy seeing these actors come back again, and again, and again, just as much as I am. With all that said and done, respectful all you guys out there, PEACE OUT!